Hi there, in this video I will show you how to install the ATS8600 software on a Windows 10 machine. I'm assuming that you know your way around Windows 10, so I will not be going into further details. First, what I'll normally do is I'll create a folder on the C drive for the ATS8600 software. What I'll do now is, on this CD that I've received, I will copy all the folds and folders over to this folder I just created. This allows your client to have all the information on hand, should there be any upgrades or changes made on site, and not have anybody searching for series of lost dongles along the way. Okay, now that's done, finally copied. Um, you will see there's some installation PDFs here that you can read through. Um, they're quite complete and actually a step by step guide to installing the software. Um, but for those of you who do not want to read or struggle going through all of this, let's just finish this video. Um, in Windows 7 and Windows 10, when installing any software or any, even any drivers, right click on your installation file and run as administrator. That's very important. Um, Say so yes. I have found that some software installs completely without any problems when you just no, run it normally. And when you start using it, it actually falls over. Um, some drivers or files didn't copy properly and was blocked while installation was happening. So always any drivers um, or any software, when you run it, run it uh, uh, in the administrative uh, section. So we click next here. Yes, we read through our license. Next. Keep it in the directory where it wants to go. So I'll just go next again. And this section is important. If you make something wrong here, you can just as well start reinstalling Windows. Um, if you have never installed a SQL database, select the top one. Um, actually, let it install by its own SQL database. Sorry. Um, you only select this one if you if you know you have installed one manually. In this case, I have not installed any database. I will go install SQL Server and I'll let the installation software does its own thing. So it will go through a couple of things and it's going to take some time. So we'll get back after this. Okay, so the SQL Server has been installed properly. And now we're on back to the ATS A600 installation. Um, keep it to create user. Um, this is your network IP address or your MAC address actually. Um, if you have more than one card, select it. Keep to the Ethernet the hardware card as far as possible because that is what your license will be based on as well. Um, installation name, keep it the same. Uh, we'll just say next. Uh, 
and we begin installation. This will take several minutes, so again we will be waiting. Right, so we've done the complete installation. I think it took just under half an hour on this i3. Um, we're going to say finish and see if it launches. Right, login is support. Okay, let's see if I can type there. Support and password should be support as well. That's your login first sign in password. Okay, ask for a new password. In this case, I'm going to keep it support. That doesn't want me. One, two, three, four. And we make it support. One, two, three, four. It will immediately come up with creating a new company. We say resolve it. It will take us to this place and we say new company or the company name that you want it to be. And that's it. The first thing that most people forget is whenever you install a new version of the ATSA 600, always go to extensions, automatic database backups, enable it. You will see on your right hand side there's a drop down and select where you want to back up it and the time. It's nothing worse than you've been working the whole day on creating your maps and stuff and the PC crashes and you've got nothing to go back to. So always enable that. And in this case I would say four o'clock in the afternoon backup before I leave the site. Okay, once entered, it's saved, so you don't need, there's no save button, nothing you need to go back to. Okay. This is your basic screen, and you've got devices, you've got nothing at the moment. On the next video, I will show you how to import all the devices, and then how to set up access levels, etc. I'll see you then.